What up, golf fans? It's time for another Rule of the Month. When it comes to talking rules, there's none better than longtime USGA rules official and AGA executive director, Ed Gowan. Are we on another Rule of the Month? We are. So the rule this month is 16.2, dangerous animal condition. When do you get relief? When are you refused relief? We'll start with the easy one. You hit your ball down the fairway, you come down and find that there's a snake right next to it. Now, if you're a person like me, I wrap my club on the ground, try to get him to move. If he won't move, then I don't need to do anything more but grab another ball, go to the nearest place where I feel safe, take my relief there, I have a reference point, not near the hole, one club length, half circle, drop a ball in there and I'm good to go. No problem, no penalty. Let's say that snake is in a bunker and my ball's in the bunker. Well, I have the same relief option, except I have to stay in the bunker. Now, if there's no place in that bunker where I feel safe, then I'm gonna be forced to take a penalty stroke because I can't get out of that bunker or out of a bunker without a penalty stroke. If that snake is on the putting green and my ball's there, I can place another ball, place another ball, not drop, not near the hole in the nearest point where it's safe to play. Now, if there's no other place on the putting green, in that situation, I go off the putting green to the nearest place I can play. And I would place the ball there, not drop. This is one of the unusual situations that runs throughout the rules where if your relief from a ball on the putting green is off the putting green, you're always going to be placing. And that might take me in a deep rough. If that's the nearest point where it's safe to play, that's where I place the ball. Another interesting dangerous animal situation occurred at the Women's Open in Colorado Springs at the Broadmoor, where on the 10th hole, there was a bear or cub up in the tree. Now, Mama was nearby somewhere, so a player had a ball under the tree. That was not a safe place to be, so we took the player about 40 yards away, so if Mama did happen to show up, there, was, there would be no danger, and the player went ahead and played from there. Now, in Florida or in the Carolinas, you'll oftentimes find an alligator on the golf course. Now, of course, I have great experiences with alligators from my tour days. All you do is come up behind them, slap their tail, and they'll run away. Believe that? Trust me. <laughs> Most people aren't willing to do that. There is a, another situation um, where I was a referee in the U.S. Open at Marion, and Dustin Johnson hit a ball into a bit of high grass just off a green came down and looked at it and then called me over and there was a wasp nest there in the ground and his ball was pretty close to it. He could have hit the ball and advanced it so he was entitled to free relief. So in this situation, Dustin got up and down and he didn't get stung, although the players playing with him felt like they had been. The rules can work to your advantage many times, even in unexpected situations. This rule takes care of almost all dangerous animals, like insects, the rattlesnake, the alligator, just not party animals. What's up, bro? That was a great shot there on 16. I love you. This song's for you. This is for you. This has been your Arizona Golf Association Rule of the Month. Play safe, party animals.